Welcome to Just Stories and Rhymes Oh My. I'm Valerie, and tonight we are going to share some fun stories about watermelons. And with me tonight is my favorite friend, Reggie the Monkey. He's ready to read Monkey. Can you say hi, Reggie? Hello! He's always having a lot of fun at story times. He likes to read, listen to stories, and dance. And his favorite thing is to mess up his hair. Yeah! You stick your head on the floor and squish it around. And you count to three. One, two, three. Ta-da! Thanks, Dr Reggie, for starting us off right. We're going to have some fun songs and rhymes about watermelons. And here is our first song. Watermelon, watermelon, on the vine, on the vine, sweet and juicy, sweet and red and juicy, sweet and red and juicy, please be mine, please be mine. Watermelon, watermelon, thump, 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 thump. I think that you are ready. I think that you are ready. Big and plump. Big and plump. So now we have a watermelon chant. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E. Watermelon is good for me. F, G, H, I, J. I can eat it every day. P, Q, R, S, T. Ripe and very juicy. U, V, W, X, Y. You will like it if you give it a try. Z, 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 Z. Watermelon is good for me. Very good. All right. So now we have a story about a watermelon. And this watermelon isn't green like the ones that we see in our gardens. This watermelon is gold. As they say, once upon a time, there was a time, this time is no more. In former lives, there lived a poor peasant. He had only one-fifth of his land. The peasant spent his life by working constantly in his field. Then spring came, the peasant started to plow the earth. And when he had plowed the earth two times and was sitting down at the shore of a large river nearby, a stork, which was flying in the sky, fell down. When the peasant looked up, he saw that one of the stork's wings was broken. The peasant immediately brought the stork home and tied a splint to the stork's little wing. And for some time, he took care of the stork. The stork got well and flew away. One day, when the peasant was planting cotton seed, the stork passed over him flying very low. The peasant, however, did not take any notice and continued planting the cotton seed, but the stork flew again over him. And this time the storks dropped down three seeds of watermelon. After several days, the seeds of the watermelon started to grow together with the cotton seed. The peasant weeded and irrigated and hoed and planted the field in time. Then came the time to harvest. One day he picked up three of the watermelons and brought them home. The watermelons were very big, and the peasant invited his close relatives and friends. When he struck the knife into the watermelon, the knife could not cut the watermelon. He put the watermelon away and wanted to cut a second watermelon, but the knife would not pass through. And same happened with the third watermelon. The peasant, as well as the guests, were surprised. When they hit the watermelon onto the ground, it split wide open. And what did they see? The inside was full of gold coins. They tried also to cut the remaining two watermelons. They were too full with gold coins and the poor man was so very happy and he shared all the gold with his guests and they all went home happily. The three seeds of the watermelons had multiplied, multiplied 10 times. The peasant collected also the, all of the remaining watermelons and thus he became very rich. The pe peasant had a rich neighbor, and he asked the poor man, how did you get so rich? The peasant told him the story. 
Neighbor, you know, my field, I started to plow the land in early spring. One day when I was tired and taking a rest over on the riverbank, a stork, which was flying in the sky, fell down. What did I see on his wing? But it was broken. I felt sorry for the stork. I lifted it up and carried it on home, fixed it right up, splinted his wing, nursed him back to health. One day when I was finished plowing, it started to plant cotton seeds. That same sport pork, he, you know, he came on flying back and he dropped these three watermelon seeds into my field. The seeds grew up and from that earth and I took care of them with my cotton plants. And when I cut the watermelons, there was gold inside of them. And that's how I became rich. The rich farmer hearing this thought, if only I could get a hold of that gold myself. And he wanted, went to the river valley. Soon the rich man saw the stork. He came closer and observed the stork and threw a stick at the stork's leg. The stork's leg was broken and it could not fly. The rich man immediately caught the stork, brought it home and tried, tied a splint to its leg, took care of it and nursed it back to health. And after several days, the stork's leg got well and he flew away. The rich farmer went every day to the field and waited for that stork to return. And one day that familiar stork flew above him and left two seeds and flew away. The seeds started to grow and became watermelons. And as the watermelons ripened, the rich man invited all of his relatives. But when he cut the watermelon with the knife, at once hornets, large hornets, came flying out from the watermelon and started to sting all of his guests who were sitting there. The rich man got up immediately and wanted to drive away the hornets, but the hornets did not pay attention and stung his head and his face. And in short, while the rich man's head, nose, and lips started to swell and swell, he could not withstand his pain, and he threw himself into the river. The poor man had gotten his wishes because of his honesty, but the rich man was punished for his evil deeds. And that was the story of the gold watermelon. So now we have some more rhymes and little um, songs here. Let's see here. This one's called Picking Up Watermelons. Picking up watermelons, put them in a basket. Pick up watermelons, put it in a basket. Pick up watermelon, put it in a basket. Way down yonder in the watermelon patch. Pick up watermelon, put it in a basket. Pick up watermelon, put it in a basket. Pick up watermelon, put it in a basket. Way down yonder in the watermelon patch. Okay, now we got a few little props here. We have strawberries, bananas, oops, and you guessed it, watermelon. Let's see if we can get that straight on there. Okay, this is to the tune of, of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Strawberries, bananas, watermelon too. Good for me and good for you. They're tasty, they're sweet. All are such a yummy treat. Strawberries, bananas, watermelon too. Good for me and good for you. We have another fun little chant. It goes like this. First you take the seed and you plant it. You plant it, you plant it, plant it, plant it. Then you take a sprout and you water it. You water it. You water, water, water it. Then you see a vine and you watch it. You watch it. You watch it, watch it, watch it. Then you see the watermelon and you pick it. You pick it. You pick it, pick it, pick it. Then you slice it up and you eat it. You eat it. You eat it, eat it, eat it. If you find a seed, then you plant it. You plant it. You plant it and start all over again. Our last little rhyme tonight is called, Do You Know the Watermelon Man? Do you know the watermelon man, the watermelon man, the watermelon man? Do you know the watermelon man who loves to sing with me? Oh, he loves the letter W, the letter W, the letter W. Oh, he loves the letter W and he loves to sing with me. I want to thank you for joining me for stories, rhymes, and more about watermelons. See you next time.